So here's router one, host name router one, interface gigabit zero zero, no shut. I'll be lazy here and simply use DHCP for the IP address of the router. The TACAX and RADIUS server will accept any devices. So I don't have to explicitly configure an IP address on the router. Can I ping the AAA server? Yes, I can. So conf t. We need to configure TACAX. So I'm gonna say AAA new model. I'll configure a local username of David with a password of Cisco. And I'll set the privilege level of that user to 15. That will act as a back door. I could, as an example, configure an enable password on the router as well. So that user David will only be used if the AAA server is not available. What I'll do now is create a AAA group. This is going to be TACAX, and I'll call it GNS3 group. Server name will be container. That doesn't exist yet. I still need to configure that. So TACAX server. Be careful here. There are different options. There's one with a hyphen or dash. And that doesn't work in this iOS. It may work in your iOS. So I'm doing this configuration using groups. So container is going to be our TACAX server group name. Address is going to be IPv4. IP address of the TACAX server, which once again is 192.168.122.201. The key used here is GNS3. So that's the password used for communication with the TACAX server. So let's have a look at our configuration. We've got an enable password of Cisco. We've created a TACAX server group pointing to our server with the server name container. Scrolling right down, here's our TACAX server, IP address and key used for that server. So once again, that's referenced here. We've configured AAA new model to use AAA. And I've got a backup username configured. So that's our configuration. What I'll do is enable Telnet on the VTY lines. And then we're going to use AAA authentication. What are we going to authenticate? We are going to authenticate a login. The default list that we're going to use is our group, which is GNS3 group. And the backup method used is a local authentication. So show run. We've got AAA new model configured. We've got our server group and we are forcing a login using the TACAX group and local authentication as a backup. To prove that things work, I'm going to telnet to the router. So I'm gonna telnet to myself and try and log in with the username GNS3 and the password GNS3. And notice that now works. So again, if I type exit, I've exited back to the router's console. Show line shows us that I'm on the console. Now in this example, I'm going to use local authentication for the enable password. So I'm gonna use the enable password for enable authentication but I'm using TACAX for login authentication. So when I telnet to the router again, username is GNS3, password is GNS3, enable password is Cisco in this example. Go back to the console and I'll log out of the router. Notice I'm gonna log in as GNS3 and I'm on the console of the router. TACAX, authentication has taken place. And I can prove that by using a debug. So debug AAA. 
let's use authentication and debug TACAX. Let's telnet back to the router and we should see those debugs. There you go. Prompting for username, AAA authentication, get a username. So username will be GNS3, press enter, get password. GNS3, I've logged in. Response was that we passed authentication. Type enable, Cisco is the password. Notice here we're using enable as the method, not TACAX. I'll type exit to go back to the console. So just to summarize so that you've got the configuration, I'll also add it below this video. I've got an enable password of Cisco. I've enabled AAA. I've created a server group called GNS3 group. It's pointing to a TACAX server with the name container. I'm using AAA authentication for login. By default, it's gonna use TACAX and then it's gonna use local authentication as a backup. For enable, I'm using the enable password. Going towards the end of the configuration, here's my TACAX server configuration. Notice please that if I try and telnet to the router using a username of David, so here's username David, password is Cisco. This is gonna fail because David isn't a valid user on the TACAC server. So authentication fails. I'm prompted again for the username. Enter GNS3, enter a password of GNS3. I can now successfully log into the router. So authentication has passed. Type exit to go back to the console. Now on the TACAC server, I'm gonna to go to root. I'm gonna to go to Etsy, I'm gonna to go to TACAX. Alice shows me the TACAX server configuration. So nano TAC plus config. Here are the settings for the TACAX server which you can change. Notice the key is GNS3. You could use the Etsy password file for authentication. We're not doing that here. There are a lot of options that you can change, but if I scroll right down to the end, notice here's my GNS3 user. It's an admin user. Here's my read-only user. We've got an admin group, and we've got a read-only group that can use certain commands. You can read online, for instance, on the Ubuntu manuals on how to configure the TACAC server. Have a look online at various documentation that's available if you want to change the way that the TACAC server works. In this example, I wanted to simply show you how easy it is to integrate a TACAC server in your GNS3 topologies. There are some default users, once again, configured on the TACAC server, which you can change. But the idea is here that I can easily integrate a router using TACAX. And in this example, I've logged in as a GNS3. To prove that the TACAX server is actually being used, I'm gonna delete that connection. And notice what happens now. When I try and telnet to the router, the authentication is gonna fail because the TACAC server is not available. So I'm gonna use my username of GNS3, password of GNS3, and what you'll notice is we're getting failures. There are no connections to the TACAC server, so the authentication is failing. I need to log in as David, which is my backup user account, and notice now I can log in. So now because the TACAC server is not available, I have to, as an example, log in as David on the console. So username is David, password is Cisco, and I can log in. 
but if I exit out of the router and have a connection configured to the TACAC server, I won't be able to log in as David. I need to log in as GNS3. So notice GNS3 succeeded there. And just to make the point, I'll try and log in as David. Password is Cisco. That fails because the TACAC server is available. So I have to log in as GNS3. And now I can log in. I'll turn off all debugging just to make it easier to view that. So again, I'll log in as David. That fails. Login as GNS3. That works. It's as simple as that to integrate a TACAC server in your GNS3 topologies. Now let's configure Radius on Router 2.